I, I asked BJ if I had to come in here, and he said, yeah, I do. That's strange. I asked him if we got, I could plead the fifth. He says, I can't. And how about if no witnesses could be called to this game? So you guys, that tells you a little bit how I feel. So it's, uh, you know, Golden State has been playing better. Uh, you know, the Celtics, the, the 76ers, the last couple of games, they've, they've played well. They haven't won. Uh, they did go down to Orlando and play like this at Orlando, who's got a pretty good team. Uh, and uh, the third quarter is, is, I don't know if Chris asked me before or was it the last game. It's just killing us right now. And we're coming out of the locker room. And uh, it's not like there's big-time adjustments made either way. And, and, and I've never been like a big-time adjustment guy at lo in locker rooms and really proud for how we've played over the years. But uh, it seems if we get hit in the face right away, um, it, it escalates immediately. And D'Angelo hit those threes. And then all of a sudden, they're just getting anything they want. So um, they, that's what I think that's, you know, we watch films and we watch clips. And I think um, several times we, we've watched momentum. This is one to see how it can escalate so quickly. So I don't have a lot of answers for you, though. I really don't because it's just we're uh, our, it's, it's all together, the offense and the defense. They, switch, they do switch every screen. They got everybody the same size. Uh, that's not necessarily a, a strength for us in some games because of um, our roster. And so it is a, uh, uh, it, it, it hurts us, and uh, we couldn't score enough points, and we certainly couldn't stop them in that third quarter. Uh, Draymond, one thing that makes it really hard is when you got a player like Draymond Green who uh, can get 16 assists. I mean, who do, what power forward goes out and gets 16 assists like that? And that's what he does. And I, th I thought I had enough of him at Michigan State, and he's still giving it to me now. That's it. Fire away. Get the big cannons out. <laughs> Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. John, considering the third quarter woes have been a consistency, um, have you thought about, I don't know, changing the routine at halftime or something? Or Yeah, you know, we show, we show about ten clips, uh, and then we'll break at six. I, I got to think about everything, Chris. I have to think about everything right now. Maybe, maybe even change the lineup, do different things at halftime. And try, we're really having trouble with that, with the second, the second unit getting scoring. Uh, but the the first unit, you know, has been it, it, they they've been they, they were at the end of the second, at the end of the first, you know, at the end mm -hmm. of the first half was critical too. Mm -hmm. That was a hell of a swing from the last two minutes to the you know to the. the First time out, maybe I called a second time out. I'm going to consider everything, but I don't have an answer for you. But I, I, that's what I got to do. Uh, Steve. Uh, Steve Herrick from AP. John, were you talk about like, like being a lot of different things, but like, if the defense is having problems, does that carry over to the offense, or oh, is absolutely. it absolutely? Yeah, the, the I just said that, that we we scored 112 points. But we, gotta we have to take the ball out of bounds a lot, full court, because they scored 133. They, that, they hit all those baskets. So, you know, the assist numbers that we get and everything, but when you are always starting off, um, not always, but so many of the times you're starting off on, your, on the goal line, it's really hard to score points. And it's, but it does work off each other without question. And, and, vice, and vice versa, right? That... If you are not making your shots, then they're in transition all the time. If you don't get quality shots, if you have the turnovers that we've had before, um, and we did, we had, there were several key points in the first half. We had open looks. We didn't knock them down. Uh, but the end of the last two minutes was, you know, we just gave it away or you've seen it over and over again. Our back man is, you're back. You got the basket. Nobody gets behind you. It keeps happening and it keeps happening and it keeps happening. And it is... It has, we haven't been able to stop it. Marla Ridenauer, Akron Beacon Journal. Um, you might only be able to answer this on an emotional reaction, but does this feel like the worst loss of the season? I think based on the, the fact that they're, they've they struggled all year, too, they only got 10 losses. No, I, I don't think that I, every loss is really is, is hitting me really hard and hitting us. I, I know it's hitting me hard. I can't answer for other people. That It's just trying to find... Um, solutions and trying to find a, a better way to to, uh, to get our guys to play harder and smarter and 
you know, which will, will lead to wins. But uh, there are some... There's some things that just happen because we're young, and then there's some happen, some things happen because uh, of of just persistence in our effort, and uh, then there's some things happen just because we're we're just uh, missing some pieces in the roster here and there. Cameron Fields, Cleveland.com. John, you talked about Draymond Green, um, obviously a good passer. Um, why was he finding so many guys like backdoor and then just for lobs yeah, too? Their action that they do, they're, they're, they, play the, they play the game from behind the defense, and it's really hard to defend. And we, we tried. It, it, it gave us so much concern. We actually worked on it a little bit yesterday. We usually don't do too much the day before the game. It's usually getting making ourselves better. And so they get the ball behind the defense. So you're sort of watching your man. And the, and the ball's behind you, and it's really hard to play. That's the way they've been playing all the time. I mean, they're you, they got the, the great players with Thompson and Curry and everything, but that dude being able to pass the ball he was just makes that offense so good. How, I mean, like, even though it's hard to do, like, what can you do to kind of try and slow it down? You know, I would, it, it, t typically what would be great to do is you could practice it, like, really hard for an hour before the day before the game. And then you probably might know how to do it, but because it's to, to to run it, it's so different, right? Some of the action is so is so unique um, that you have to really practice it hard to be able to do it. You can't just walk through it and simulate the way that he he zings those passes, those cuts are made. Spencer Davies, Basketball Insiders. John, what have you observed about the young guards, particularly Darius? Like you said, that end of the first half that the turnovers continue after the initial turnover like it's an avalanche yeah. effect almost like yeah. why what do you think the reasoning is behind that we're, we're trying to every day with all our guys to, to when the same turnover is made over and over again right we, we we're trying to teach them either by fin or individual film with their mentor or coaches and somehow we're not quite getting it or we're not good enough yet to realize that 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 play cannot be made can't be made it, it's going to be a turnover nine times out of ten and a turnover leads to a bucket at the other end so um when it's say, when when we as they get better and stronger and better and can make plays you know it will get there but it is hard because you you see it's the same thing it's the lob pass i mean i i i told him at halftime breaking news draymond green is a really good defender so don't just lob it into kevin like kevin's got some incredible mismatch and we did that, and they they know that, but they still think that Kevin's just going to go and get every ball is thrown to him. When Draymond Green's on him, he's he's a master at stealing that ball. He's they they get they're turning people over a lot. It's because Draymond is so smart defensively. Once again, sees the floor on offense, so you see the floor on defense. But if you if you don't see the floor on one end, you probably don't see it at the other end, and that's one of our issues. Last one, please. John, do you believe the guys are still bought into you? Well, I can't answer that. I can't say, can't answer that. I think that our guys have to measure themselves. So they uh, are they bought into playing winning basketball. It, I don't think it has anything to do with particular coach or coaches, whatever. They just got to go and play hard. And uh, there's moments that we have. I mean, uh, that we have played really hard in a lot of adversity. So I can't answer that. But I do know that. I'm, I, I'm trying to do my job every time and work as hard as I can for them.